Hello and good afternoon everyone. I am Gautam Sodi and I welcome you all on the Facebook Live of Sports Wiki. Like always, I am joined by Tahir Ibn Manzoor and we too would be talking about the second one day international between England and India in this bilateral series which would be played at the Mecca of Cricket in Lords. Well, yes, the match will be playing at the home of Cricket Lords. As far as the result of the first game is concerned, India defeated uh, England in the first two days convincingly and now they would like to take the series home by winning the game at this very venue today itself. Well, as of the timings are concerned of this game, the match will be starting a bit early today as per Indian standard time. It's the 3.30 start for the Indian and the England team today. Uh, Tahir, speaking of the first game, Indian team, they won the match quite convincingly. You know, you just couldn't get it better on the English soil. And talking about Kuldeep Yadav, the man who bowled 10 overs, took 6 wickets, conceded just 25 runs. How good was he? See, he has been phenomenal with the ball like we already seen in the T20 series. The way he performed being a youngster and uh, delivering at such a uh, platform is uh, definitely in itself a huge task for the, uh, such a player. He has come good uh, for, uh, against a team which has, dominate, which has been dominant since 2015 in the uh, 50 or format. So this shows how the promising prospect he has been for India. And apart from that, we already seen Rohit Sharma has been a magnificent which scored a sublime century uh, <coughs> recently. So this shows how the uh, batting lineup has shaped up uh, in the world's his conditions, and it is a major boost for India ahead of the World Cup. Well, definitely it is a major, major boost for men in blue. Rohit Sharma, ahead of the first one international, said it is very important for Team India under Virat Kohli to win this ODI series in England just to make sure that they get used to the conditions well ahead of the 2019 World Cup which will be played in England and Wales. Well, as far as he is concerned, Tahir has mentioned about Rohit Sharma and why not the Indian opener. He scored his 18th ODI International 100 in the first one-day game at the Trent Bridge at the venue where the past two games, you know, we have seen the scores getting shattered all day long. Uh, Tahir, to know that, you know, you have someone like Rohit Sharma, a person who has such a responsive head above his shoulders, uh, to bat ahead of Virat Kohli. How much Virat Kohli as a captain would be comfortable with this fact? See, he has, he has, uh, we already seen him, uh, li like the, if you talked about the T20 series, the way he uh, played, scored a century and then again make, make, made a strong statement by scoring a century in the first ODI, uh, while uh, he has the man, uh, like he scored 137, which shows the way uh, he is using the experience, he's a, he's a major boost for the team and captain itself, so he would be definitely uh, happy with that uh, performance from, the, uh, the, from such a play in the T20 in the uh, ODI format, like where they are preparing for the World Cup. The World Cup will be ha will be, ha will be held at this uh, in the same condition. So this would be definitely a huge prospect for the captain itself. Like having the players, they have the batting lineup there, and the bowling lineup has improved. So it is definitely going to um, going to be a huge huge boost for Team India as, as of now. Well, it's a huge boost for Team India as of now. Tahir mentions the bowling has been something which has been improved in times to come for Team India. Batting has been a major section for them. And today we'll be able to see that. Will the Indian ball is able to take 10 wickets as well in the second one-day game? For all those who have joined me up, uh, right now, I must tell you the second one-day international of this bilateral series between England and India to be played today at the home of Cricket and Lords. The match would start at 3.30 p.m. Indian Standard Time and the toss would be taking place in a very short while from now. Uh, now, Thayer, since before the toss takes place, we need to talk about both the teams. Do you see any changes Virat Kohli would be making into his playing 11? And if yes, then why? I do, uh, if you uh, would ask me that, uh, like people talked about the bowling lineup, they had Vinish Kumar there who suffered uh, niggle, so the uh, captain won't be just going with him, like uh, he's uh, seeing ahead of the t uh, test series, so th uh, they would like to go with Siddharth who has got the first game, even he went wicked less, but I think he would st stick with uh, the youngster rather than having Vinish Kumar early on. And apart from that, uh, in the English lineup, I do I could see one change in the form of Sam Curran coming in place of Moin Ali. Uh, talking about this service, this would definitely aid the spinners. India has the prospect here, and apart from that, we have uh, already seen other shit performing well and Moin, alongside Moin Ali against uh, Ask, Askler recently. So I don't think this, there would be uh, too many change, uh, change that Ian Morgan would be making. And apart from that, India won't be making any change if they. Uh, are looking at uh, 
well surely tahir says that india and england are likely to make too many changes into the playing 11 india despite winning the first game quite convincingly against england is unlikely to make a change if only if bhuvneshwar kumar who was deemed unfit ahead of the first one day international if the reports are coming true if he is 100% fit and is raring to go then virat kohli might just include him into the playing 11 and who could be facing the axe obviously the young boy sudarth kohl he didn't bowl bad in the first game but then you have to compromise for someone who has been too good into international cricket for a quite a while now as far as england team is concerned thair says that he expects moin ali to sit out and sam curran the brother of fast bowler tom curran to make into the playing 11 for the oyen morgan said england side and the reason he gives behind is that indian team well in the past as well they have faced difficulties in facing swing and seam and that is where the england fast bowlers would come into play the toss would be taking place in a very short while from now and i would be informing about who had won the toss and what are the team sheets as of now uh tai you have mentioned about uh, the importance of spin as well indian spinners they did quite well in the first ODI despite knowing the fact that trent bridge never really you know offered good attracts for the spinners so do you see that lords being on a bit slower side as far as the pitches are concerned can kuldeep yadav yuzvendra yuzhab chahal make the best out of it today i uh, see the they are definitely going to make best uh, out of it like we already seen england uh, batsmen have been struggling with the spin bowling and even we already seen subcontinent batsmen playing well against spin so that has been the major difference and apart from that kuldeep yadav himself has been a major prospect for india like uh, england has failed to decode his trickery at this moment like uh, if you talked about him in the, in the recently held uh, uh series against south africa the way he bowled alongside the zoom chal has been phenomenal so they are struggling at that moment at this moment and they need to come good they need to just uh, avoid giving away wickets against a bowler which has been in some prime form at the moment well tired until we get the report of the toss which will be taking place in a short while from now speaking of the england team you know post the 2015 debacle the world cup exit they had faced they have been the side to reckon with but why over the years they have faced trouble facing spinners it's not the fact that they they have they don't have spinners back in england or they don't have such tracks where they can practice when it comes to england batsmen versus spinners across the world they tend to be on the receiving end why see the overseas batsmen uh, always struggle against spinners we already seen them apart from the few batters we have seen they have played well against spin but uh, uh, coming early on if you talk about against uh, playing the, the spinners of uh, from asian conditions it has been a major worrying sign for the overseas batsmen but uh, uh, if we talk about in general they have the batting depth here so that is the major boost for their side they can come good against a side which has uh, two young spinners who have been dominating at the moment and uh, ian morgan uh, would like definitely ha- have a look at the video and this is how kuldeep yadav has been waving his ma- magic in this series so far so they would definitely like to uh, give their best in the remaining two, two matches of this three uh, match ODI series well surely england would be looking forward to give their best in the remaining two matches of this three match bilateral series between the host and india as far as the result is concerned it is india who had won the first game in 20 breaks by convincing margin it was scored a six wicket haul from kuldeep yadav and of course an unbeaten 130 plus runs from rohit sharma uh, tahir the toss would be taking place and yes the reports of the toss are out as of now england captain oyen morgan has won the toss and england they have opted to bat first uh, the match will be taking place at the mac of cricket in law this is the second one day game of the three match bilateral odi series uh, i repeat the england side led by oyen morgan they have won the toss and the side would be batting first the team sheets would be out in a very short while and i would be informing you all about the same uh, tahir england they are batting first against india they were made to bat first against india in the first game how good a decision this could turn out to be see the way india has performed like changing, changing down targets in the recent past has been superb so they, that might be playing the mind of uh, ian morgan so he would have settled it himself like uh, let's win the toss and bat first so this seems a good decision but they have put a decent uh, total on the board against the side which has a uh, quality batsman at the top who uh, has done bulk of job in, in the recent past so they need to give their best put uh, uh, the 300 plus total on on the board and even th- though we know that uh, this surface is going to aid the spinners and spinners might come into play and that would be crucial but they have to uh, give their best against the pace uh, pace bowlers as well and they uh, need to avoid uh, giving away wickets against uh, uh, spinners like kuldeep yadav in particular 
but surely England has to avoid giving away wickets to Kuldeep Yadav. He's been the major threat on the England tour. We know how much he derailed the Ireland batting lineup, the English batting lineup in the first T20 international, and of course, what all damage he did at the Trent Bridge venue as far as the team sheet is concerned. England captain Owen Morgan says that he and his side would be liking to stick to their strengths, and they haven't made a single change to their squad. Tahir, you were expecting England to go in with the same squad until unless there is some change in the in the injury department over there. See, if you talk about Moeen Ali and Adri Shid, who have performed well, um, being as a signalers against, uh, against uh, us, Aslia recently, they have delayed them 5-0, so that would have been the, uh, brought the confidence uh, among the boy, um, boys of the host team. So, uh, having on the, uh, talk, if you talk about the batting lineup, they have the depth here, so they, that might have been in his mind, let's go with Moeen Ali rather than just taking Sam Curran, who is just uh, like... Uh, who is uh, a seamer and who can just uh, give, uh, give his best with the bat as well. But apart from that, experience has played a major factor in picking, um, uh, in sticking with um, Moin Ali. Well, you've pointed out a brilliant thing. Experience has been an X factor when it comes to Moin Ali in the past as well. He's been the opener for England in 2015. He opened, he scored a brilliant 100 as well. In the recently concluded ODI series against Australia, he was among the highest wicket takers in then. So I think the spinners would come into play when the Indian batting would be up against the England ballers later today. Well, the toss report has been out. The English captain, Owen Morgan, he had won the toss and England would be batting first. Both India and England, they haven't made a single change change to their lineup. They both would be going in with the same 11, the one they had played in the Trent Bridge ODI. Now before we wrap up this discussion, uh, Tahir, Indian team, they haven't made a single change which clearly indicates that Bhuvneshwar Kumar is yet to touch his 100% fitness. Is this a sign of worry or Virat Kohli would be okay to have uh, Siddharth Kolomesh Yadav trying their luck in the absence of such a premier bowler? This shouldn't be the sign of worry at the moment because the way the team has performed in the T20 series and the first one did has been phenomenal for the uh, team in general. Uh, like they are going to play the te five match test series that would be uh, that that would be important for the uh, captain himself who is who has struggled in the rec recent past. But overall, uh, Siddharth Kohl has been promising prospect. We have already seen him perform in the IPL and it would definitely be a huge uh, opportunity for him. Like having Vinesh Kumar on the sidelines with. Uh, after suffering from a niggle, so that it would be playing an important uh, role for him, how he would shape up in this game. Like everyone would, would not like to have the dead river, England would like to give their best on the other side, but apart from that, Kohli would like to uh, see the series here on. Well, Virat Kohli would like to take the series home. India had already beaten England in the T20I series. They had won it 2-1. India has won up in the three-match bilateral series against England. Would they be taking the series home or would the host be coming up hard against the men in blue and level the series 1-1 at the make of cricket? Now, before I end up this discussion, Tyra, one most important question to you. What all score do you expect England to put on and who in your eyes would be turning out the favourites? I guess like uh, they have just picked their, uh, picked their uh, lessons if you talk about from the first game, the, uh, the way they batted poorly after uh, 10 overs, they were at the strong uh, position after scoring 70 for no loss, but they would like to give their best in this game and I would expect around 280 plus score on, the, on this surface, the way Kuldeep uh, on the other side has been performing would be definitely a tough task for the uh, host this time around, but they can just uh, type the ta target 280 plus on on this surface and apart from that India has been favoured <coughs> and uh, but I expect it to be a close match the, rather than ha uh, seeing what has panned out in Nottingham. Well, what panned out in Nottingham, Thai says he doesn't really want to see the repetition of the game. He wants to see a closely fought contest and we can hope both these number one ranked side, number two ranked side in the 50 over format will put up a one fantastic game of cricket today. I would like to thank you for being with us on the Facebook Live of Sports Wiki. Before wrapping up, I must tell you, England captain Owen Morgan had won the toss and England would be batting first against India in the second game of this three-match bilateral series which would be played at the home of cricket in Lords. Both India and England haven't made a single change to their playing 11. The sides which had played in Nottingham Trent Bridge, they would be fielding the uh, same in the Lords as well. The match will be starting in a very short while from now. We can hope to see a 100-over hard-fought contest, as Thai says. And he picks India to win this game and take the series home. Thank you, Tahir. Thank you, everyone, for being with us on Sports Wiki. For all the updates, just click to our website and we have everything to offer. Until then, thank you for being with us.